thing kind of in other interviews and songs and Quando Rondo actually saying they got a million on my head uh the score is one to one we're gonna make it two to one and if you don't know one to one uh King Von Lil Pat but this is where I'm gonna uh break give y'all my breakdown in my opinion on it uh for one I honestly feel like Lil Dirt and Brick Baby had nothing to do with the situation uh for one let's break down what we know now what we know is brick baby is trending right now right he's trending you know he had to crash out on no jumper and he getting in all type of game practice so brick baby is tripping if you think poetic flocko did not get the graces of brick baby to create that video you are absolutely insane so the one question we got to ask is hey either brick baby retarded then a motherfucker Reckless and absolutely don't care about his life and freedom, or it's a cop move and it's caught in a brick, baby. And yeah, talk about something that I had nothing to do with. That's one. Two, I'm finding it very hard to believe that Quando Rondo was the intended target, but they let him live and killed his homeboy. Why would they waste a million dollars to kill the homeboy? What, what's this supposed to be? Yeah, I want you to feel like how I felt losing Vaughn. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So that lets me believe that I think Lil Pad was more the target because Brick Baby went on the interview and kind of dissected how they walked on the car, put their arm past Quando Rondo, and hit Lil Pad. Also, Wack 100 said something about the situation and said Lil Pat was the intended target a long time ago. And then I want y'all to ask yourself this, right? Why we won't believe that a lot of these major, I'm talking about not the low bottom rappers, these major artists don't be in cahoots. We see time and time again where things just don't make